Hello, everyone. My name is Yan Chang Park. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Dentistry, Joseon University in South Korea. I'll be presenting a case report on osteomyelitis of the jaw caused by candida infection. Osteomyelitis in the oral maxillofacial area is an common inflammatory disease. They are due to odontogenic causes such as endodontic infection, facial trauma, insufficient blood supply, and heterogenic infection after surgery. Candida infection were previously reported in immunocompromised patient group, but candida osteomyelitis was really observed. A patient was an 81-year-old male who visited the hospital with a nasal hernia and intermittent epistoxics. He was diagnosed with osteomyelitis on a paranasal sinus computer tomography scan. During sequestrectomy, a large amount of foreign material like fungus ball was discharged from the inside along with sequestrum. The patient showed good healing after operation and was discharged from the hospital, but later complained of decreased sensation in the raw leaf and swelling of the right jaw. For immortality was drained from the lingual alveolar history of the right mandible motor. As a result of examination, candidate outcomes and enterococcus fashion group D were identified. Therefore, the final diagnosis was osteomyelitis caused by invasive candida. Osteomyelitis of the jaw is a relative common in the jaw bone, including teeth. The reason that causative microorganism can provide a root for spreading into this bone is through the root canal or periodontal ligament of the contaminated tooth. The prevalence of bronze, also known as medication-related osteonecrosis related to drugs such as anti-rejective agent and anti-angiogenic agent is increasing. As the etiology is so diverse, in the case of patients with osteomyelitis of the jaw, the clinician often monotonically prescribe antibiotics and implement curatives. They do not record patient medical history in detail and approach it carefully. In conclusion, osteomyelitis of the jaw caused by candida has a very low incidence and is a clearly established criteria for diagnosis, treatment, and prognosis. Therefore, Christian needed to approach such cases carefully and record patient medical history in detail. This case report highlights the importance of prompt diagnosis and effective treatment to avoid progressing to significant mortality. Thank you for your attention.